Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's episode, we're going to be diving back into the leaked build of Windows 11 on this HP laptop right here. Now so far, I've done two videos on the leaked build of Windows 11. The most recent one uh, was where we tried to install it on this unsupported, in quotation marks, laptop uh, that you can install it on uh, just by, you know, modifying some files on the Windows 11 installation media. And I detailed how to do that in the original video. Now towards the end of that video we ended up installing an SSD in it to improve the performance because we were getting uh, essentially I mean it was literally unusable. Today we're going to be doing something similar because we are going to be trying to improve the performance of this machine but we're going to be upgrading the RAM today. Now this machine just as a refresher has only one gigabyte of RAM. I only upgraded the hard drive. However the RAM was contributing to the poor performance that we saw when we had the 5400 RPM hard drive installed. Now the reason for this is pretty straightforward. This just isn't an adequate amount of memory to run the operating system, which meant that the system was making heavy use of the page file. Now, for those who don't know, the page file essentially acts as a form of virtual memory to where when your physical RAM capacity becomes completely used up or almost completely used up, the system will actually offload some of that data to your hard drive and store it in what's known as the swap file or the page file. Now, the reason we got such a slowdown is because this, again, has only one gigabyte of RAM, which is below Windows 10's minimum system requirements for the 64-bit version, and this hard drive is very slow. So that's why when when we saw the disk usage was completely maxed out at 100% and the RAM usage was so high, that's because the system was using up all of the RAM, trying to offload data to the hard disk, and just reading and writing from the page file to the point where the entire system just bogged down and became unusable. Now, when we put the SSD in this computer, we experienced a massive performance boost. Why? Well, it's pretty obvious because we no longer have that 5400 RPM bottleneck. So now the system is able to read from and write to the page file on the hard drive much faster, even though we did not upgrade the RAM at all. So the question today is, if we upgrade the RAM in this computer, Will uh, that give us a performance boost even with the 5400 RPM hard drive still in here? And how much of a performance boost will we get? And then we're going to put the SSD back in and see how much of a performance boost that it gives us with the upgraded RAM. Now, to make this all work, you saw from earlier, I had to take apart the trusty Dell Latitude D610. The reason for this is the Dell Latitude D610 uh, has the, or had, it's not in here anymore, as you can see, we got a blank RAM slot up here. Um, it has the largest amount of DDR2 memory out of all my DDR2 machines, uh, at least laptops, because I've got plenty of DDR2 dims, but not so dims. So right here, we've got one of the one gig sticks, if the camera wants to focus in there, here it is. It's a Hynix RAM. To do this, I've already taken apart everything, uh, but if you, if any of you were curious, if you happen to have this exact same machine you've got one dim on the bottom and you access the other dim from the top you have to usually take apart the uh, top plastic piece well in the case of the Dell Latitude D610 this piece had to come off and then you had to take the keyboard off and then you get access to the other dim it's the exact same thing here though it's much easier because you just remove these three screws on the bottom uh, you've got one here they're actually labeled with this uh, keyboard symbol so you remove that one you remove this one here which is not labeled and you remove I believe it's this one over here and then the keyboard is able to pop out and you're able to get access to the second uh, dim slot so we're going to remove the current this is a 512 megabyte stick in here we're going to take our one gigabyte stick from the Dell Latitude D610 or one of them slot it in there Press it down, there you go, simple enough. All right, so I've got the RAM door put back on, I've got the three screws removed from the bottom of the machine, and now when you open it up, you've got these four latches here on the keyboard. So you just gotta pop those out, and then the entire keyboard just lifts up like so, and you gotta carefully move it out, and you just gotta pop out the RAM stick here. We'll set that aside, and we're going to replace it with the uh, one gigabyte Hynix stick from 
the Dell Latitude D610. And there you go. We've just performed a very simple, very easy RAM upgrade on this HP laptop. Now, the keyboard to get it back in, you want to uh, put it in from the bottom first. You see you got these kind of latches on the bottom here. Now, this one in particular, I've noticed is a bit stubborn, but you just got to kind of finagle it and it will eventually... Uh, and go because you know you want it to be underneath the plastic piece here so there you go and press it down lock those latches back into place up here and there you go I'll, I'll go ahead and screw flip it over and we'll put those screws back in on the bottom now we just gotta put the battery back in now I'm gonna leave the hard drive door off and don't worry this is properly secured you see we got the the one screw over here uh, so this is properly secured to the case, uh, but I mean, I'm just going to leave the, uh, the the plastic door off because we're going to be swapping it uh, momentarily here. But for now, we're going to flip the machine back over. I'm going to reach for the power cord. Okay, so the first thing it does is it makes us aware that a memory size change has been detected, so we're going to press F1. Now, this machine's maximum RAM capacity is 4 gigabytes, which is obviously double what we have in here right now. But like I said, unfortunately, I don't have any uh, greater size size so dims on hand i expect a performance boost i just don't know how much of a performance boost we're going to get hopefully the machine will actually be somewhat usable so we're going to perform four basic tests we're going to be opening up task manager we're going to open up microsoft edge file explorer and we're going to do a boot up test so yeah very very basic tests but i just want to give you guys a, a basic idea at uh, what kind of performance improvements that we get with uh, just upgrading the RAM. So first thing we're gonna do is open up Task Manager. I am pressing Control, Shift, Escape right now. And we'll stop when it, there we go. Extreme improvement over what we saw in the last video. It took like minutes to open up. Now you'll notice, check this out. If we go to the disk usage here, it's no longer using 99 to 100% just sitting here with Task Manager open like it was before. It's down to like 1% now, 2%, under 10% even is a is an extreme improvement, right? Now, the memory usage over here is still using a significant amount of RAM, I mean, over half of it, in fact, but because the system is no longer having to constantly read from and write to the page file, it doesn't have to utilize 100% of the disk usage all the time like it was doing previously, and that makes the overall system performance much, much better. Now, speaking of performance, if we go to the performance tab here and go to memory, you can see that the system is utilizing, uh, it's currently using 1.2 gigs out of the two gigs of available to it. Yes, this disk usage dropping significantly has uh, has improved the system dramatically, as you will see. So if we go and open up Microsoft Edge here, so I'm going to uh, click on Microsoft Edge, I'm going to press enter right now, and we'll stop the timer when it opens the new tab page. There we go, just over three seconds. And I mean, I can open up new tabs, I can go to websites, I'm not on the internet currently, but you know, in the last video, it was like the entire program was locking up, it wasn't uh, keeping up with when I was typing on the keyboard, it would take like a couple seconds for the address bar to populate. Uh, let's move on to File Explorer. So I've got File Explorer in the taskbar here. We're going to click on the icon right now, and we'll stop when the window opens up completely. There we go almost four seconds extremely faster than what we saw before so yeah absolutely putting just just doubling the ram just moving it from one to two gigs has massively improved the system obviously this is to be expected when you uh when you upgrade the ram and when the system is no longer constantly having to write to and from the page file and last but not least we will do a very simple startup test so i'm going to turn off the machine here so we're going to power off and there we go the machine has powered off so i'm going to press the power button three two one press timers running and we'll see uh how long this machine takes to boot up <laughs> I'm going to stop the timer once the startup sound plays. Wow. 
15061. That's our time. All we got to do now is we're going to turn off the machine. I'm going to put the SSD back in. Here we are booted up off the SSD now, and we're going to go ahead and go through those same tests. So pressing control shift escape to open up task manager in three, two, one. There we go. And just as uh, we had with the 5400 RPM drive, you can see we're using 0% uh, disk usage, though I think we were using like 1% to 2%, which is the same thing here. You see it's now going up 6%, 9%. We are using about 48 or exactly 48% of the uh, memory right now. So if we go over to performance, you can see, yeah, 0.9 out of 2.0 gigabytes. So there you go. So next up is Edge. We are pressing enter on the icon right now. And I will stop when we get to the new tab page. There we go. So Edge opened up. Edge actually took a little bit longer, 4.33 seconds whereas edge on the 5400 rpm drive was 3.06 seconds next up is file explorer so we're going to mouse down here we're going to click on file explorer in three two one go we'll wait for it to open up and stop 2.36 seconds and last but not least we are going to shut down the machine and we're going to perform a boot up test so we will shut down okay so the machine's powered off we're going to reach over and press the power button in three two one And there we go. That was just over 30 seconds. Massive improvement. Just for uh, reference, the 5400 RPM hard drive speed was almost two minutes, 15061. So we've got a massive improvement there. And none of this is really surprising because, of course, the SSD is uh, solid state storage as opposed to a 5400 RPM hard drive. I've said that word, uh, that phrase, 5400 RPM hard drive, a lot throughout this video, but uh, it is indeed a 5400 RPM hard drive. But yeah, that's really all I wanted to do just to, uh, you know, kind of revisit this. I had a, a lot of you guys saying upgrade the RAM like we want to see, you know, how, how it performs with, with more RAM. Before we end off this video, though, I want to ask you guys a question, and I'll have this linked in my community tab and in a pin comment down below uh, if you want to participate in the poll but the poll is going to be if you had to choose between upgrading your hard drive to an ssd or upgrading your ram which would you choose not doing both but like if you had to use this machine with one gig of ram and an ssd or with two gigs of ram and a 5400 rpm hard drive which would you choose? Now, you saw the performance of the with one gig of RAM with the SSD in the last video. This video, you saw two gigs of RAM and the 5400 RPM hard drive. So I'm just kind of curious to know what you guys would prefer. And if you'd like to vote in the poll, that will be again linked down below. But that's all I've got for you all today. I just want to thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on those channel notifications to get notified whenever I upload new videos, which I do multiple times every single week on this channel. And as always, I will see you all in the next video.